This is how I made a miniature piano for one of my miniature pieces. This is the first time I've ever made a piano. I've made other instruments before in the past. I've uh, made a guitar, I've made a drum set, but never a piano. I looked at some references and from those references, I just decided to wing this build and try to make one by memory. There were times where I did go back and take a glimpse of some pianos just to kind of see if I'm on the right track. But for the most part, this was not really modeled after a specific piano. It's just something I created on the fly and just wanted to see how it would turn out. Now I wanted to add some decorative trimming to the piece to kind of give it a little more shape and dimension, framing off the bottom half here. At first I didn't think it was looking like much, but as I started building it up, it started to take shape and really began to look a lot better. Making the legs for the piano here, taking the same approach as I did earlier. Doing these kinds of builds when you have to add little tiny details, it definitely is a delicate type of work and I find myself shaking sometimes <laughs> and somehow I manage. This is just the top piece to cover up the uh, top of the piano, nothing too fancy. And again, I was just kind of building as I went, you know, kind of freestyling it. sanding down the edges here that might have been a little bit too long and I've decided to continue building out the piano here as you can see I'm just creating more trimming to add to the sides of it this helps to give it more character and also to give it more uh, mass and I, you know, I wasn't really thinking about it much I just kind of again just was just building and going with the flow And I'm making the chair here, the little stool. You see these sticks are actually doubled up. Um, I know I don't really show that I glued them together, but they are doubled up to make it a little thicker. These are the legs for the stool. I taped them all together and gave it one big cut. making the keys and I was going to use clay but I changed my mind at the last minute and decided I was just going to use these matchsticks and cut them to size and I know this looks rather dangerous but I did take extra care to watch my fingers and you know take my time with the cut and be very cautious if you're ever doing anything like this please be careful so yeah I had a little print out here to help reference um, where the keys go And to paint this, I just used regular acrylic paint, watered it down a little bit and, and treated it more like a stain. It was a little bit too thick for me. And I'm also wiping it off as I go, just so that it looks more like natural stain and not this glob of paint. I'm trying to make sure I covered every little nook and cranny. I'm 
of sanding down the wooden keys, just smoothing it out a little bit. And these are the trimming details that's going to go around the keys. This is what the keys will be embedded in and kind of secured within. This is just some illustration board that I snipped into little pieces for the black keys and it actually took me a while to install these little keys. They were pretty tricky. It was really the spacing that was a little bit challenging. Even with the reference guide there, it still was somewhat uh, tricky to try to get as close as possible, but we made it through. And finally, the cover for the piano keys. And here I'm just doing a quick and simple, very dirty job of uh, upholstering the seat for the chair. I really love this silk fabric and I think it looks really good with this piano. This is the same material that I use for the legs of the chair. I'm just using the other end of it to make the pedals. Just shaping it by carving it a little. Nothing too extravagant. the finished piano. I'm quite proud of this piece, again, because it's the first time I've ever made a piano and I didn't expect it to turn out this well for my first time around. The next time around, I think I would like to make the keys out of a, a different material um, and also just make a different style piano altogether. But that's how I made this piano for my miniature set. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'd love to answer anything that I can. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.